I wanted to provide a little feedback on this cold call by Andrew Kleiman. He helps real estate agents market themselves on social media. Let's roll the call. Hello? Nancy? Yes. Nancy, it is Andrew Kleiman, and I am an absolute stranger, so don't rack your brain trying to figure it out. I don't know you. You don't know me. A complete stranger here. Um, are you able to talk for a brief moment? I have about a minute. Oh, beautiful. That's all I need. Great tone, honest. She leans forward. Okay, wonderful. Look, I was online and I was doing some research for another realtor in Tucson and I actually came across your name. So I wanted to find out, are you still doing real estate? Are you doing it as a hobby? Or are you doing it as a career? Um, I'm doing it full time. Okay. Another great question. Why? He's providing her with some context. Why am I calling you? versus anybody else, and then he's seeing if she's a fit. You're doing it full time, okay, wonderful. Um, I know that you said I had a minute, so I, I don't wanna be disrespectful, but I do do marketing for realtors. I help you guys with web, social, and more. And my quick question was, do you have any personal interest in improving your web presence for the future? Because I know it's like really, really, really hot market out there. You guys are doing very well. And I just wanted to see if I could get a, some time with you another day and let you interview me. You're the boss, I'm just applying for the job. Um, and just interview me and see what I have to offer. But I, I really feel like there's an asset and me helping you. Okay, what's he doing here? He is pitching a solution without identifying if there's a problem. No matter what you sell, your prospect is getting the job done today. So listen to how she responds. Um, first of all, I like your style. It's nice because I haven't hung up on you yet, so awesome. Second of all, I have a really good friend who is doing the same thing, who is uh, trying to get me to do the same thing, and so I've um, just started working with her. We've just started a business Facebook page, doing a few things. And uh, so honestly, I'll, I'll work with, I, I know I need some help, and so I'll be working with her though. This is hard. Okay, so we should expect that our prospect has someone in place when we make the call. So one of the first questions we wanna ask from the jump is this. Are you working with someone already on your social media marketing? You know, stuff like Facebook and Instagram. Shut the front door. Yes, I'm working with X, Y, and Z. I'm working with my friend. And then you can understand that a little bit more. Sounds like that's been working out well for you. Sounds like you're checking the boxes. Sounds like you have this covered. And let her talk and feel understood. Let's keep going. Breaking. I'm actually crying right now. I'm Nancy. You know, uh, unfortunately, I was taught a long time ago that I got to get at least 20 no's. We're only on no one right now. Okay. <laughs> that is the traditional sales mentality, right? I'm attached to the outcome. I don't take no for an answer. I got to get 20 no's. There is some truth to that. When your intent is to book a meeting with everyone, this is kind of what you do. You go right back into pitch mode. Here he goes. Look, look, here's the deal. I'm a, I'm a good team player, right? I, I used to play football for years. I grew up here in San Diego. Most of my friends played professional football. Um, my good friend, Leroy Glover, is actually getting introduced into the Hall of Fame. You probably know a lot of my friends. You know Marsha Falk? No, I don't. Okay, you're not a football buff. Okay, fine, whatever. Bottom line is, I'm all about teamwork. Um, if you have someone that is going to participate in helping you grow your life and your business, First of all, congratulations, because realtors work so hard, and I know that you guys put a lot of time and energy into just learning new tools and new technology. Um, so cheers to you for even taking a leap of faith, uh, paying her to do that. How much are you, are you paying her? Just uh, Is this like 1500 a month? Is this 2000 How much you gotta pay to make her do all this stuff for you? Okay, a lot of telling there. When you're explaining, you're losing because you are coming from a place of telling people things without identifying a problem. You're also asking a question that's a little personal. It's almost like if a financial advisor said at the jump, tell me about your five-year plan. Tell me about your biggest problems with your portfolio. It's a little forward for the first encounter. All right, let's keep going. Oh, well, um, in addition to her, I also have a coach. So <laughs> I am well ingrained in the I need help. Okay. So. Rewind. 
-hmm. how much are you paying this coach? Because I know what coaches charge. I travel quite a bit around the country. The last coach I met was charging $6,000. Quick little sidebar here. Instead of judging, try understanding. That might sound like this. Sounds like you're really committed to professional growth. You're a lifelong learner. Why? Everyone has a desire to feel heard and understood. All right, let's get back into the call. My coach isn't quite that expensive, but you know what? My time is truly up. I have a client walking fine. in. Fine, okay. And I've got to go, but I like your style. I think you're going to do fine, and here's your no. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so what would I recommend? After you ask, are you using someone for your social? She says, yes. You riff off that a little bit. Sounds like you have it covered. I'm going to go right into the problem. That might sound like this. I often see that agents are spending anywhere from 1500 to 2000 a month running ads on platforms like Facebook or Instagram for like three to four months before they realize they're not generating any business. Have you gotten any clients from social or has it mostly been people who don't meet your criteria and then shut the front door and listen? I don't know if that problem is going to resonate with her, but that is a problem. The big takeaway is this move off the solution, move into the problem. Your solution has no value without a problem.